no piche. Oh yo. Okay, but it's enough, it's enough. Not enough, I think I can do it this way. <laughs> okay. And the first set is ready. And the second set. Maria. Set it ready as well. Okay. So we made a little bit of modification of our tutis, and now we have both of the prefabricates to be ready for completion with. Uh, this is very old soldiering soldiering medium because it consists of plumbum but I need to put plumbum because plumbum has very excellent properties which cannot be supplied with the currently used methods so we have basically two options of soldiering the first is to do it like just set up and just try to solder it patiently or the second is to use the clamp 
and squeezes by the clamp. Uh, I would like to try to use the first option. Yeah, before that we have to put something inside. Let's see, and we also need to see that how how deep we can go. No deeper than this one. Okay. Okay, now this is okay. So I will try to use this first method which is basically just to set up correctly align correctly everything and just to try to solder yeah just to try to solder in somehow way and we will see what's gonna be effect what kind of soldiering method here we have bomb we have bomb but before the bomb we need to do something. Here is a special paste. Uh, it's yeah. Mm. The paste consists of flux, and also this uh, gray is uh, a melted soldier material, like seen. It's melted inside the paste. So and. Uh, We try to use as much as possible of this scene to be delivered on because after then we just need to add a little bit. Yeah. We don't need to put so much here. Yeah. We really don't need to put so much. But if if I have Opportunity. I put also uh, the space. This I need a little bit more viscosity, like this. Yeah. Yeah, like this. Somehow like this. So paste this applied. Basically, I can prepare. I'm using this special stand because I consider that it's gonna be really, yeah, it's okay. Looks good, but I don't know how it will be working. I need to take better gloves. What do we have here? Leather, leather gloves because it's very dangerous to soldier to soldier without gloves. Okay. So. Um, very hard to see anything yeah maybe I cannot use this kind of gloves One problem that I need really 
some protection. but it's coming out this one is okay but this one seems also to be okay quite okay the capillary is very difficult to achieve capillary effect but this one is great and this one can maybe a little bit put a little bit more Yeah, but it's capillary also, it's it's perfect. Now I see that ca from capillary point of view, it's perfect. Just settle, settle it exactly. Like this one, okay. Perfect. Okay. So, and... Yeah. I don't know if it's C, but it's precisely capillarized everything. I just need to clean out because here I put a little bit more than it, it was necessary. But not so much, only a little bit. Okay. But let's take a break because don't pour into water or something like this because this is like disaster. But I think that. We can we can completely we can completely maybe this one hide a lot of things here. Oh okay it's not too hot. So after a while we will see we just mm, clean out or pump it a little bit and we will see if we can remove the screws. This is the most important in that case. Okay, now we will repolish, repolish it into very high level of glance. And this is the last, okay, it's not so hot, this is the last what we need to do with this, basically. Okay, now this one, I need this one. Okay. Oh my god. Yes. 
see that it's nicely capillary joint together. Perfect, it's perfect, great job. Great job. Oh, my gosh. Jumping, jumping issue. Yeah, we have a jumping issue. Sometimes it can happen. Okay, the first one is finalized, and the second one. Okay. Just a little bit mechanical way. It's very important to put out all these uh, looks because it's uh, corrosive material and it's not very good when it stays in. <laughs> but I think that it's okay now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Here is also very very nice quality of capillary joining and now the final thing is to release these two screws cross my fingers okay and there is also another risk that you damage the thread inside that it's 
not coming due to thread damaging, you know. So be very careful. Be very careful. Yeah. It must be going very easily. Not any... Don't do any pressure on it. Mm -hmm. Because once we damage the threads... Okay, but th inside is thread and it's nicely covered by seen. You can see that it's nicely covered by seen inside and here is also capillary at the bottom. Now there is another thing what we need to check. And if, if length is enough, but length is no problem because we can cut off a little bit. We can do some, let's say, yeah, because length is not enough in that case. But we have two options. The one is to drill out or the another one is to cut off. Yeah. Because length is not enough. Oh, there's a little bit bigger problem. Just from the beginning. Okay. Okay. It's been soldered because it's uh, covered by zinc. And here is Nyko, and Nyko and zinc can be used like spare partners in that case. And this Maybe a little bit bigger problem, but finally, finally it's working also nicely. And in that case, yeah, in that case, here seems to be that here is no capillary effect the same way. Yeah, it seems to be that it's some kind of uh, bubble, some kind of bubble. Okay, thank you very much for watching the video. These are just a little bit uh, beautifications, more or less about beautification, but the most of the job is done. We have special holders for NTC sensor, very high precisity NTC sensor, which can be now mounted into these, let's say, two, two, uh, hydraulics elements and one is for incoming cold water and another one is for outcoming hot water and the sense is that if why I'm using two sensors just to let's say program something like that if one sensor is broken that it's going down or something happens with the sensor I can automatically detect due to deviation or very high level of deviation between these two sensors and it reflects me let's say one sensor is broken it will be constant the value and another sensor will be changing the value I automatically can detect this as an alarm situation and I can write an alarm and it's quite good to have two sensors and uh, one program mm, now I see that those are not the same size, <laughs> okay, because they are still more and more saving material. This is older obviously and this is uh, younger material. I, I want it to be from the same company, but even from the same company you can buy two different, two different things because of this world. Okay, thank you very much for watching my video and if you have any comments, don't hesitate to comment, also to let's say to suggest something or to, 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 to have your own experience with solar systems this is my very first experience but I will see finally what I'm going to do with this thank you and bye
So one more modification. We will soldier, soldier, um, such a washers from brass, and these washers can create something like spare for mounting the sensor. I think that you know what I mean. That it can be distanced much well. So we're going welding, but I will use only this very tiny soldier and without any paste because I don't need any paste to be used. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I will try to be at the very, very, very the lowest horizon of the temperature. And the temperature is good enough. not working in such a way I finally I need to use the paste here because you see that without the paste it's not working okay. finally I need to use the paste Basically, it's better to use the paste because paste is also supplied a little bit, but I need something to handle with the paste. Ah, okay. Since we need only very little paste, we can also, do, uh, we can also use this one for handling it. On our hands because it's very toxic material. Okay. is ready mm, but this one is hot I have to use somehow like this way to make it ready okay maybe it's not so hot just a little bit hot down yeah, you see that the scene is absolutely not touching without this looks
adjustment. Move it okay. Both of them are ready. So attempt. But I think that we have no gas inside the bomb. American gas that it is not very reliable. Yeah, but it's not enough. Something is wrong. Hmm. It's coming out. There's nothing inside. Yeah. Absolutely nothing inside. It's empty. Okay, I need to change the bottle. See you for yeah. Here we have a new one. It is completely sealed. Maybe maybe it's like this way. Yeah. What is this? Food skin sheet. It's just food skin sheet. Really strange inside. Wow. Okay. What's this? Okay. Somehow this problem can be in the leakage or whatsoever because this one is also very strange. Uh, never mind. In this moment we have this new one, we can, it can technically continue. With this modification, yeah.
do something better or not. Oh. Good. Okay. So both of them have been remade. Yeah, and I think this is very excellent, and this is also enough because it's only we done it. Do you have any thermal conductivity, like specific thermal conductivity? Oh, okay. We have to leave it. But we, I need to disassemble this one because it seems to be that here is the, the point of leakage. Disaster. Okay. One coming out immediately. Perfect. In the second one, I hope that it will be the same issue. So easy. Yeah. But now it's much greater. specific layer yeah oh it's it's coming very hot very soon so even if it's not in full touch but it's impossible to keep it in other hands hopefully that it cannot be destroyed with such temperature okay so thank you very much for watching over this update and that's so and here is the final modification as we could see we installed this special washer and this washer can create some upgrades some some extended area or extended longitude of putting this sensor ah okay now i cannot move it because it's it's been used uh, some kind of wrench and i don't have wrench here but here you can see that it's quite fine job 
here is no any damage <laughs> from inside side yeah just a little bit cleanness is maybe issue <laughs> but it's not so big issue finally okay thank you very much for your watching and this we will be having a continuation yeah now we we see that it's very nice very nice all around yeah i like it i always like my job i don't know why but it's here are some vacations and interstitials but nothing nothing reasonable but it's nothing reasonable that it could be problem and uh, now we will have one sensor at the input, one sensor at the output and we can do a lot of lot of with software because now we have very intelligent system which can, which can recognize uh, a mistake itself like self calibration issue we can solve somehow self testing issue and a lot of lot of issues while we are going to have two different sensors and uh, basically we can also measure uh, efficiency gain because we know we know the flow and and a lot of a lot of things like this so everything is based on arduino mm, my programming skills and uh, also my knowledge and and things like this yeah. Yeah, but I think that it's good. It's good. It took me one day, one Sunday, but maybe it's better than just kill the Sunday with this uh, construction. Yeah, I will do it anyway. I will have to do it anyway, but uh, now it was quite good. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm looking forward to my next video because sometimes I watching my videos by myself thank you and